Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel. Before we get started, we, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that have been laboring in this truth and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing this truth into Syria. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like the brother said, we come out here, you know, for the, for the nation of Israel, which is known as Yahshua Allah, man, meaning he is the prince of power, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, y'all special people. And that's what we come out here to tell these people every week, man. But we know through the spirit, two-thirds of y'all not going to understand. Only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to understand that. So that's what we come out here for. Because people always assume that why, nobody listening to y'all. Why y'all coming out here? Why? Because we got a job. We're doing the bidding of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. His name is Yahweh, man. And that's what we're going to do, man. We, Hey, the scripture tell us whether they hear or forbear, man. Come out here and speak this good word. Go ahead, huh? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Do not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth a voice. Right, and we crying, man. Real talk. Every, everything we go through during the week, it causes sorrow and mourning, man. We mourn, and that's the state of mind the true prophets and the true men of the Lord are supposed to be in. We crying and mourning. And, and through that crying and mourning, we come out here and bring this wisdom. Go ahead, I'll start back from the top again. Doeth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. She's standing in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the past. Right, and this is the way in the place of the past. Turn the camera around up. Perfect timing. Wisdom is crying out, but the people don't hear. Like that scripture, uh, we have piped to you, but you have not danced. We piping, and they don't even acknowledge, let alone dance. Go ahead up. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city at the coming in at the doors. Right, and this is the coming in of the doors, man. Bayside is one of the chief places. And through the spirit, guess what the name of Bayside is? The marketplace. Bayside marketplace, man. And the wisdom is crying out. Why? Somebody give the uh, Proverbs 1 real quick. Because the, the scriptures tell you where you're supposed to go to seek wisdom, man. In the chief places of concord. At the opening of the gates, man. Where Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cries without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gate, in the city, she uttereth her, her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Right, and that's what we come out here to say, man. That's our message every week, man. How long, you simple ass people, you simple ass Negroes, simple as Latinos and you simple as Native Americans, man. How long will y'all love this simplicity, man? Go ahead, up. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning? Right, and the people coming up scoffing, saying that we got on dresses and all that shit. How long y'all gonna delight in that instead of coming up and seeing what we about, man? How long? Because, hey, the news is revealing, hey, this shit is almost at the end, man. This shit is almost over, but yet you still delight in your scorning and, you, and, and, and living in your lasciviousness, man. How long? What is it going to take? But we know. We know through the spirit, but that's our message. What is it going to take for you simple-ass people to wake the fuck up, man, and realize the white man does not love you, man? Right. That America is not your rest. Right. That the Most High has an agenda which is contrary to yours, unless you're a believer of these scriptures, man. How long? Go ahead up. And fools hate knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Go back up. And fools hate knowledge. Yeah, fools hate knowledge. Y'all hate to hear these words, and the Lord said, uh, not verbatimly, but it, it say in the scriptures, those who uh, turn their ear at the at these words of the Lord, your prayer will be an abomination to the Lord. So, 
you hate this knowledge right now, when shit go down and there's no food in the stores, and there's no food for you to eat and feed your children, because you have been a fool who hate knowledge, your even your prayer will be an abomination to the Lord. Y'all by Shimmy I was shot. So every time you sit, go in that church house, or you get on your knees and put your hands together and form a pussy, a vagina, that shit is an abomination to the most high. So every time you do that, he, he, he add another strike to your list, man. Why? Because you, you, hey, you fools, man, and, and you delight in your scorning, man. The scriptures tell you the light that the true prophets will come in. They will be hated amongst their own people. They will be, uh, they will be mockers. But yet, you give your faith to the uh, T.D. Jakes and Bishop Bacon and shit, man. Come on, man. I'll, I'll skip down to uh, verse 25. Hold on. Let me bring this back. This is St. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now, we know that the Most High heareth not sinners. Right. Scripture say, and this is in the New Testament. It says, the most high here of not sinners. Because a nigga quick to say, oh, you know, I sin every day, but I believe in God. No, but the most high said he don't, he don't hear sinners, man. Go ahead. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh by Shemel Shai and doeth his will, him he heareth. Right. Him does he hear. So he don't hear you people, man, that's living in your lust and, and sinning every day and, 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 and delighting in wickedness, man. That's plain and simple. That's it on that. <coughs> this is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right, like the brother was bringing out. That knowledge, man. The knowledge of what? How the, how the most high works, man. That he has laws, statutes, and commandments. And that... Israelites, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the royal people, man. You, you are a royal, a royal priesthood unto the Most High. You have to have that understanding, but you people don't understand. You people have begot, be, uh, began to be worse than the wicked, man. And the wicked is the uh, what start with the white man and all the other nations, man. Right. My people are described for a lack of knowledge. Right, that's why you got a Tamir Rice. That's why you have a, uh, 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 help me out, uh, Trayvon, Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Mike Brown. Mike Brown. Sean Bell. Sean Yeah, Sandra, what, what her name? Uh, Sandra Bland. Like Bland, Mike she Bland. She don't got no flavor. Why? Because she wasn't coming to, according to these scriptures, man. That's why she got put to death. The most high put that bitch to death, man. Think she gonna come up against some, some grown ass man, some awful. Exactly. Edom might say that. All of all them gang bangers that get put to death every day. Come. All these niggas that get locked up for a million years. <laughs> you destroy for a lack of knowledge. The scriptures tell you how to deal in this. Somebody give me uh Romans 13, man. See, we understand it. But you niggas are destroyed for your lack of knowledge, lack of understanding. And this book is the only avenue of knowledge. All that other shit is vain and vanity. This is the only truth, man. So if you don't understand this, you lack knowledge. Right. Go ahead up. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Right, and I just said we are royal priesthood to the Most High. But if you re you rejecting his knowledge, meaning his scriptures, he's gonna reject you, man. That's hey, that's that's only right though. That's only right because the Most High plan. He gave you law, statutes, commandments, and he told you to follow him to the best of your ability, man. That's what the grace and mercy is all about. But you niggas won't even get into that. And when I say you niggas, I'm talking about you Negroes, you Latinos, and you Native Americans. Simple ass people, man. How long y'all gonna delight in that simplicity, man? We know how long, but we asking you as a rhetorical question. We know until the nuclear missiles fall on your fucking head, that's how long you're gonna walk around here simple, man. Right. But the elect are gonna wake out of that slum and come into the fold, man. So when I say the fold, that's mean the law, statutes, and commandments in the body of your howl by Shimyao Shah, man. Where is he? 
seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Right, he's gonna forget your children. But we saw that in the, uh, that uh, Hockey J, what the shit, Hunger Games. They delivered the kids up first and dropped the bomb on them and they fucked everybody up, man. That's the same way the Most High gonna re uh, act this time. He gonna hit you where it hurt, man. Your kids, man. Cause a lot of you, that's all you doing for. You living for your kids, man, and your children. So the Most High gonna hit you where it hurts the most. Why? Cause you rejected knowledge. Plain and simple. And it's here. You you got brothers throughout the four corners of the earth pushing this knowledge. You got a, you can go buy a Bible at Family Dollar for two dollars, man, a dollar. So hey, the Most High not gonna have no understanding, and rightfully so. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 21. How long shall I, shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish, they have not known me. Right, they have not known that. They have not known that, hey, these are the true Israelites. That we are princes of the power. That we are royal priesthood. That the Most High have law, statutes, and commandments. But the scriptures also tell us, my people do not consider. We do not consider that we are a royal pedigree. That we are the salt of the earth. Our people don't even, we'll be quick to get a heathen to come up here and inquire before we get our people to come up here, man. That's true. Right. Why? Because my people do not consider. They are like a dumbass and a dumbass ox, man. But the, Scripture say the ox and the ass know of his master. Right. So, Salaki, the ass and the ox are above you simple ass people, man. Sure. Right, keep and, going up. And if I, uh, the, the scripture says uh, in verse 21, how long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? And what's the standard, man? The standard is the prophets, the men of the Lord coming out here, the most high having them out here to put the standard to you, man, to let, to let you know to, that you need to repent, that you need to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability and you need to believe on Yahweh Bashi Bao Shai. And they're the ones blowing the trumpet, man, letting you know that the, that the alarm of war is coming, man. World War III is coming. Martial law is coming, man. Right. This whole system is going to collapse, man. The Most High is coming back with his uh, with his chariots, man. He's coming back with a whirlwind, with consuming fire, man, with nuclear missiles, man. So how long are we going to have to keep telling y'all this? Before y'all repent, man. And and the day y'all go repent is the day when the nuclear missiles drop on your ass, man. That's right. Okay? Because Israel, they need to see it to believe it, man. So when a nuclear missile coming in your face or martial law troops at your door, that's when y'all gonna wanna believe, man. And, he, and even then, y'all probably ain't, the scriptures say that y'all not gonna repent, even, even in these last days, man. Y'all gonna be eating and drinking, marrying and giving it to marriage, man. And then, and then y'all gonna see the elect uh, being beamed up into the chariots, y'all gonna be like, damn, man, we should have listened, man. But it's gonna be too late, man. Once you once you start thinking we should have listened, that's when the laser beams gonna come out of the sky and blast your shit, man. Right. Okay. And you know why they not? Let me show you why you not gonna repent. Give me John, uh, uh, Saint John, uh, eight, uh, what is that? Forty-four. Eight and what? Oh, eight and forty-four. Yeah. Give me Saint John, eight and forty-four. Let me show you why y'all not gonna repent. John, he got it, huh? Give me Hebrews 12, 16. This is St. John, chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. Right, and that right there, that's Yahweh speaking to Israelites, telling them they are of their father the devil. And through the spirit and the scriptures, it tells us that the devil is the so-called white man. So you had Israelites, just like today, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, following the lust of their father, the devil, which is the so-called white man. Because if you look around, this society is built up off of the white man's propaganda and his agenda. Everything the white man pushes, that's what these people take hold to. So this is Yahweh rhetorically saying, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father will you do. So that goes back to why this brother said, you're not gonna repent. Bring that up. That's it on that up. Bring that up. You do 12, 16. Yeah, 
This is Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Right, so that's going into the history of the so-called white man. And we know the story of Jacob and Esau. Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white race, and Jacob is the, is the progenitor of unique roles, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead up. For, for ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Right, because he sold his birthright. He made a deal with his brother Jacob, and he sold his birthright, which was what? The kingdom of heaven. So he, he rightfully sold that, but after he realized what he did, no pictures, no pictures. Let him do it, let him do it, let him go. Go ahead, you know, death to you, fucking faggot. Go ahead up. <laughs> For he found no place of repentance. Right, he found no place of repentance. That's why the ark brought that out. You're not going to repent. Why? Because you have your father the devil. Right. And his lust will you do. So just like there's no place of repentance for him, same thing with you niggas, man. You're not going to repent. Why? Because you're acting like the daddy the white man. That's right. Right. That's it on there, bro. Yeah, well, yeah. Go ahead. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Beautiful. And that's what these niggas going to be doing. Oh, why? What happened? And they're going to be coming to the prophets, the ones that they heard the truth from, and asking them, what, what should we do? And like me and this brother was talking earlier, hey, this week, man, hey, don't ask me shit, man. Right. Leave me alone. I speak no English. Right, I, speak, I don't speak English. Go ask your pastor, man. Go ask your daddy, the white man, what to do. Don't ask me. Because right. we, we told you people out of love, but you counted our love for wickedness. So we, hey, we in the spirit of Jeremiah. Yeah. 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 He got him up there. Yeah, he yeah. 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 Hey, you heard? Come on, say, oh, we forgot. We forgot. Yeah, I don't remember. Matter of fact, I ain't even know Israel. I don't know what you're talking about. Yo. Yeah. Let me get this one. Yeah, we got the early onset dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm turning back into a baby. I need a pamphlet. Don't ask me shit, man. <laughs> Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. Right, my people are foolish, they have not known him. They have not known that they are the true people of the Bible. They have not known that they are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead. They are Sodom's children. Sodom's mean extremely stupid. Right. Extremely stupid. Jeremiah was uh, saying that about the people in that time. So how stupid are they? This? Like, wow. you can't even create a word to characterize our people in these times, man. Right. They don't even acknowledge the prophets. At least in those days, they acknowledge the prophets. Right. They at least, they scoffed at the prophets. Or, 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 or gave forbearance or, or, or uh, acknowledged that, hey, these are the men of the Lord. Whether we believe or not, whatever, you know. But these people don't even acknowledge it these days. They just count it as wickedness or count it as folly. These guys standing up here with uh, 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 gowns on, you know what I'm saying? That, that we bringing that, we're coming straight out of the scriptures. They don't even acknowledge that, man. 